after Justin Timberlake and she parted ways via text message, Britney Spears claims she became comatose and was inconsolable. According to Britney Spears' eagerly awaited autobiography, The Woman in Me, Justin Timberlake did break up with her via text message, as has long been speculated. The princess of pop admits that the digital separation hurt her and that she even thought about leaving the music business. She says, I was comatose in Louisiana, and he was happily running around Hollywood. Spears also talks about how the media has portrayed her as a heartbreaker after Timberlake hinted that she had cheated on him in the music video for Cry Me a River she denounces the press for portraying her as a harlot who'd broken the heart of America's golden boy. This demonstrates the unwarranted scrutiny and criticism Spears endured at the time. In an unexpected turn of events, Spears comes clean about her own infidelity. She admits that one night at a bar, she made out with dancer Wade Robson. This admission complicates the story and demonstrates how relationships are frequently trickier than they seem. Spears also alleges that Timberlake had cheated on her, albeit she does not name the famous woman that he had an affair with. Additionally, a very sensitive and personal subject for Spears is covered in the memoir. She confesses that she unexpectedly became pregnant in late 2000 and had an abortion. Timberlake is silent in the wake of the revelations. Timberlake definitely wasn't happy about it, according to Spears, and they agreed to go through with the painful operation. I'm sure people would blame me for this, but I agreed not to have the baby, she thinks as she muses on her choice. I'm not sure if that was the best course of action. Although sources previously claimed that Timberlake was worried about what Spears would reveal in her biography, he has not yet responded to these allegations in the public. He's probably feeling a lot of pressure from the shocking information about their relationship and split.